Oh, sorry about that, guys. <clears throat> Throat's killing me. I was at the fights last night, corner of my man Leif, who won with a crazy awesome uppercut highlight real KO in the third round. I'm going to share that with you guys once I get that video. Uh, but for now, let's talk about uh, using a double end bag. Talk about the benefits of it, how to do it, but first, setting it up. The, the straps, you want them to be... Okay, obviously the looser they are, the more chaotic that bag's going to be. So once you're more advanced, then you can loosen them up. At first, keep it pretty tight at about chin level, all right? Getting started is going to be a one two one two base rhythm. Left, right, left, right, all right? Jabs and crosses. Nice and easy. The closer the bag, the easier, the further away. It's going to be a little bit more challenging, all right? Look at it this way. You're telling the bag where to go. You're telling them to go to your right glove or your left glove. Don't go chasing after it, all right? All right, here we go. Let's pick up the speed a little bit now. It's going to look like this, all right? A nice rhythm picking up your feet as well. All right, now we're going to go with one, one, two, chain and punches together. Let's watch it in slow motion. Chaining these punches together, just like you do in a fight. You're not going to land all punches. They're not all going to have 100% power, right? Soft jabs, a little bit harder jab, and then the cross. But we want to find this rhythm on the bag, right? Just like we do in a fight. It's great to have rhythm, so let's practice it. We're going to go with a jab cross. Now I want you to watch what I'm doing. I'm not necessarily throwing a, a one, one, two, a jab, jab, cross, but now I'm throwing a hook jab, all right? Left hook jab, steadying the bag, telling it where to go, and then following up with the one, two, one, two base. I'm going to do the same thing with the right now, okay? But I'm doing it with a helmet guard, a cross and a helmet guard. That's the one, one on the other side, all right? Just the one, one rhythm I want you to look at it as, all right? So it's like this, cross, and then the second is the, is the helmet guard with the elbow. Chain that together, it looks like this. There's the hook jab and the cross helmet guard. Hook jab, one, two, one, two, cross helmet guard, all right? So I want you to practice those two. The hook jab, go back to a one, two, one, two base rhythm, and then the cross helmet guard, steady in the bag and coming back to the one, two, one, two rhythm. You can mix it up, guys, and get creative, throw some uppercuts. You can throw harder punches so the bag comes whipping back at you. Slip, move, helmet guard, either side, all right? You can do the same thing with an uppercut jab, and stuff like that. Now, a little more advanced is you hang it horizontally, all right? This is what Robert Guerrero does, all right? And people often wonder why he does this, what are the benefits? It's obvious, guys, that, that bag isn't moving left and right necessarily, but it's doing a lot of up and down, a lot of in and out, okay? People like Pacquiao fight like this. They're like level change and they're like in and out. I like practicing my pull counters on it, right? <laughs> like Mayweather. I like using it as a slip rope and practicing my bobbing and weaving and the uppercuts, boom, just like that, right? Okay, so this is a great tool, like I said, elasticity. Mix it up. This is really loose here, so this is really challenging, really, really tough. Um, <clears throat> some of the benefits of a double end bag, hand and eye coordination, obviously, you want to be able to land your punches, right? Rhythm is super important in boxing, all right? But like I said, chaining punches together, finding that rhythm, throwing a soft jab, a hard two, a hard three, a hard, a hard hook, right? You're not going to always throw the hardest punches because if you miss with them, you're in a dangerous situation, all right? So practice with the double end bag, all right? Got an article below, too, if you want to read more on it and a link in the description for if you want to get one of your own. This is a very affordable kit that you can get. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you follow me on Twitter, at Fight Tips. Send me some of your questions so you get featured in the Fight Tips video. And make sure you subscribe so you get the Fight Tips before your opponent does. All right, guys, until next time, I'm Shane with Fight Tips, self-defense for the underdogs.